What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side. I'm going to stop spawning in the left side of the map in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Matrius. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Odin. His name is Rappel. His, uh, his map, the map, the current map that they're playing on is Marge. It's currently 1-0 for Matrius who won that first game on Anatolia uh, with some very, very smart Poseidon play. Uh, very, very smart. Taking uh, the fast draw, he can react into it very nicely. And um, yeah, now we've got game number two. This looks to be Rapple's home map because he's a Norse player who picks Marsh. Marsh has got a lot of hunt. It's a very nice map for him. We'll see what he's going to do. We just see a, uh, a great hunt over here, getting a lot of those pigs to, to multiply as well. I always get a little bit how you going with the pig thing. Because like one... Okay, so if you have, if you had three pigs here, these three pigs would probably be worth two, two uh, gazelle, because they're over 50 food. So if you get three pig spawns, you get, you could get an extra, um, an extra deer for that. So like, okay, so I, I would understand sending, two, I'm just going to talk about this for a hot second. I understand sending two pigs in, because that means those two pigs over 50 food, under 150 food, means you get every deer except for one. So you're getting 600 food of deer, you're getting two extra pigs. Seems good. If you send three pigs over, you're getting, um, I can't do the math, 450 extra food of deer and three extra pigs. So you get one extra pig and you lose out on 150 food. Doesn't seem worth doesn't seem worth, especially when the hunt is in your base like this. So, the general gist is, send two pigs in, or send four pigs, wait, two pigs in, five pigs, or five pigs? Is that right? Two, five? 50, 100, 150 is three, and 200, 250, yes, five pigs, you don't want to send six, because that's going to cut off another deer. So, does that make sense? Good? Math? In... We did it? No, no, no. The, the thing is, it's not RNG because you send the pigs in and you put the, the thing where you want it and you know you can only get a max of 750 food. So you can just put the pigs over like four of the deer and two of... And, and, and the goat and the pigs and you're good. That's what you want to do. Good? All right. No, no ifs, ends, buts about it. That's how it works. Pelt of Argus is a relic. We've got, that's the line of sight. <laughs> Nose of the Sphinx. 15% extra building hit points. We've also got up here the Kopesh of Horus. Extra 100% of bonus damage for heroes against the myth units. And we've also got the monkey head. Uh, three extra relic monkeys, which die in 60, which respawn in 60 seconds after all three die. Um, all these relics are kind of worth getting. May as well, may as well do it. At some point in your life, um, you see the gatherers shooting down the uh, the hippopotamus, and um, yeah, this seems good. Natrius looks like he's going for an early second town center. Wait, he's got four villages on wood, and six villages on gold, five villages on wood. So this does look like an early second town center on marsh. I don't think this is a bad idea. I love the idea of. Um, of doing quasi semi-fast mythics against Norse on this map as Poseidon to get the earthquake out to maybe hit the um, Balder town center, um, and you put a lot of pressure onto your onto the Norse buddy, uh, and you try and win that way. Um, also, the extra economy helps out a lot. There's kind of two ways I see of playing this for Poseidon. You either go really hard in the classical age and try and push off this like the home hunt and like put a lot of pressure on here um, while you're opponent and catch your opponent on the back foot um but that's not going to happen here and i do find this incredibly perplexing like i get the long house first to be safe but not grabbing this town center is very confusing to me because with well i guess it's open over here so Matrius could move in and stop that one with the Theseus and Hippolyta. But just one longhouse making Ulfsark out of it, grab this town center. 
and you're good to go. Uh, and in a really good position, you've got deer for days. So you're going to be able to hit all the timings really, really well. But Apple not going for that one. Instead, going for what looks to be a semi far. Is this just a fast heroic? I, I'm i perplexed. Apparently, fast heroics are what Rappel has been having success with against Poseidon. Either that or this is all theory crafting or cheesing. One of the two. Let's see what Matrius has seen. His scout he sees the town center. He misses this. He saw four villages on wood. He's kind of missed the, the armory just. So nice hide there from Rappel. He's going to catch Matrius on the back foot for sure. Matrius is going to be expecting longhouse with with like not much else like he's going to be expecting just longhouse units raiding cavalry coming for him and we do see the stable coming down so maybe uh maybe huskull push might be okay um we're not still not seeing the advance here so rapple's actually quite quite a way behind he still needs a little bit more food Maybe uh, built one too many units or something out before the next stage. He's throwing down another longhouse nice and forward. The Catalyst Capulse is going to see that one out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, very late longhouse. Maybe Matrius will un like get some sort of clue or something is not quite right here. The Valkyrie chasing down the Centaur. We do have the Theseus coming over here. An archery range coming down for Matrius now. Uh, and the, uh, the Heroic Age just about to come through. So it's going to be a 735... 735-ish, and he's going through Njord. I love the attempt, but I I don't know if there's going to be enough time here. The problem with doing these cheese strats against Greek, and specifically Poseidon and Zeus, is that ceasefire counters pretty much everything. So you need to prepare for that and make sure that your strat is, is um like plays around that. Uh, and we are seeing the old sarks getting spammed out right now. Looks like there's very, very little on wood right now as well. As Raffles built all of his houses, he's going for a pure infantry all in, it looks like. Maybe trying to get out an extra mountain giant or something. Uh, very cute to be using the pigs here, but he has a deer over here that gather a touch faster, one would say, than um, anything else. Now, we'll see how this goes. The Ulfsark starting to produce, but very, very slow at this point for some reason. We do see uh, medium infantry coming in. The timing attack is about to hit. We'll see Walking Woods come through uh, straight away, it looks like. No, he's going to be backing out at this point. Um, house is up. Matrius spamming his units, actually maybe cancelling units, trying to get Heroic Age himself. Because he realizes if he can get the Atlanta out, it's huge. Obviously, like, there's the walking woods. Oh, it's on the wrong side. Oh, I don't hate that. Forest fire to open this base up. Probably could have cast the forest fire up earlier, though. <coughs> and then walking woods over here. That would have gotten these in much easier. The mountain giant coming through as well. This has got to be a ceasefire for Matrius. He's holding off as long as he possibly can. There he goes with the ceasefire. The village is retreating back. Stables coming down. Archery range. Matrius almost clicking advance, but maybe deciding against that. I don't see an armory up for Matrius just yet. Obviously, Heroic Age would give him access to uh, Curse, which would kill a lot of these Ulfsark. Um, and then also the Atlanta, but I don't think he can kill off everything without losing the town center. So maybe he's just going to have to sacrifice this town center, move back onto one town center, and try and get as much value out of the picks here, just not overcommit. Either that or Rappel just wins here. We'll see how he goes. He's still pumping out the Ulfsark, and that's getting that ceasefire forced while still pumping these units out is great for Rappel. He's back onto the wood over here, still grabbing these. I don't see an extra mountain giant or any other, anything else. Heavy infantry comes through. This timing from Rappel is brutally strong with the heavy infantry. These Ulfsark become almost tankish like they're only 50 hp less than a hippocon and now you just leave the uh the myth units on the town center and you chase those uh military units away um if you if you could does he have well he doesn't have lone wanderer that's a bit of a question mark there we'll see if that's going to come through anytime soon uh let's just put this one here we do see um aphrodite is coming through but 
nothing else. The talent center going down. Nacho is trying to turn around and fight this. I like that he sacrificed this, but he got no heroes onto these units. If he had snuck some heroes over there into the talent center, maybe he could have cheekily picked off some of those trees. But now, Rappel has to make the right decisions now. He's still not exactly in front on economy. Aphrodite is about to hit. We see the hillfall coming up. You do not want to run your walking woods into your opponent's army. They don't do anything. These units, they do 7 hack damage, 18 crush damage. And they only have 280 HP. So the heroes deal so much damage to them. Especially the Theseus. There's the Heroic Edge from Atreus. And there's the Hillfort coming through for Rapple, already with one villager on the prayer here, on the on the on the temple, trying to get some more favor to maybe build a fortress or something. We'll see what um, Mattress is going to do. He looks like he's potentially trying to get Mythic Age here. Uh, not a bad try, uh, because then he gets Chimera, which are going to completely decimate the Ulfsark, and that's really really smart though the town the uh, temple going down the, it's going to make killing buildings much easier because the nose of the sphinx is going to be dropped there are militia that pop out of these buildings though, so that's very dangerous to be doing now we've got some yarls coming in the yarls don't have any upgrades at this point but rapple is going for it here the mountain giant making his way through we still don't see an atlanta coming through natri is trying to advance i don't see an a uh, market up for him i'm not sure if he can hold this at this point the mountain giant needs to be trying to target down this we do see the curse coming in mountain giant finally starting to target down the town center but he is deciding to turn around now as mattress is 104 population two rapples 75 he's got hippocon coming in picking off the straggler units now as mattress has shut down this timing push or this this attack from rapple feel like instead of getting this hill for a better idea here for rapple would have been to just take the win move back, get two town centers, and boom. And then you're in a p completely fine position. But maybe maybe Matrius going Mythic Age would have been a difficult thing, but uh, it's, Matrius is still going Mythic Age here. He still hasn't got the market up, but he's got the resources to get there. There's the market coming down now for Matrius, and Artemis is going to hit, and that's going to be a, a very difficult situation for Rappel to be in. He's mining gold over here, getting the food economy coming. No market for himself. He's grabbing boars in the middle of the map. The the Hippocon getting chased down here. Still no uh, no Lone Wanderer coming through for the Ulfsark. Uh, the Yarl going to get sniped here as Rapple kind of forgets about him. Poor, poor Yarl. Any more Yarl into the fodder here. This is not what you want to do. <laughs> going to attempt to retreat away from here. But the Yarl gets away with most of its HP. Odin does heal that one back up. Very slowly, but it will heal that one back up. And now we're seeing Artemis. Now we're seeing Hephaestus deciding against the, the Artemis, maybe because um, Matrius realizes that, well, there's no answer to Colossus. The temple's going to come down. He's putting a lot of villages onto this, so he's getting the uh, the favor in. So Colossus push here may be impossible to defend for Rappel because he's got no Frost Giants. He does have Yarl, which are a good answer, but no Frost Giants. Maybe even a fortress coming up wouldn't be a bad idea as well. We see the armory is coming through now. Obviously, the villagers initially going on to favor to get Forge of Olympus. Costs a lot of favor to begin with. And we'll see what's going to happen with this army over here coming in. Going to hit this town center. There is like... Both of these town centers really, really good for, uh, for Matrius. We're actually seeing Matrius have to back off here. The Yarls, very, very strong. Only medium upgrades on them as they Ulf Yarls. Not great yards just yet, but this army from Mattress is not enough to, to push this one back. Not sure where Rappel lost his, his Mountain Giant, but he did. Now big raids coming in for Mattress. Really, really clutch raider. We're seeing Rappel going for it at this point. Not a bad idea. He's definitely got the stronger army in this location. And we're seeing Mattress try to push back as Rappel is just cleaning up his army. The Hippocon. Need to maybe return back over here, but they're going for another raid up onto this location. Meanwhile, the army from Rappel looks like it's slightly dwindling. There's the Mythic Age from Matrix. Casts his Plenty Vault. Probably gets out an immediate Forge of Olympus. Not just yet. There it is. Forge of Olympus coming through for Matrix. Hippolyta does fall as well. Colossus coming in. The Valkyrie coming through as well to help it out to take this one down. This, this Colossus will fall 
very, very fast because the Ulf Yarls, they do 300% bonus against myth units. Even, even though they don't take like a reduced damage against the uh, the the Colossus, they still just like do so much damage to him. The, uh, <laughs> the tree gets eaten, 150 extra HP for the Colossus. It's actually quite fast. Look at how fast he eats the tree. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Now Matrius has got the hoplites out, ready to push Raffle back. Now Raffle kind of has to transition into Ulfsark Huskull. Oh, Sorry, Ulfsark, Ulfsark throwing Axeman, I should say, in order to, to win these fights. These are these y'all not going to be doing well at all against the hoplite, eating some trees, trying to keep the Colossus alive. For the time being, more really, really good fights here from Raffle, as um, Matrius is basically just holding off, trying to get his armory upgrades out in order to keep winning. The throwing Axemen are in here, but these are not Huntress Axe throwing Axemen. So they're not as good as normal, but... The Valkyries coming through is an interesting de decision there. He could have had two Mountain Giants instead of the instead of all these Valkyries, and maybe that would have been a smarter move. Valkyries, not a bad myth unit, but the Mountain Giants could have helped him take down this Talent Center again. Meanwhile, we still don't see a second Talent Center from Rappel. He's just going all out uh, attacking Matrius at this point. Matrius's economy is just popping off here. We see the Polyphemus coming through, 99%. Going to be waddling over here, or stomping over here, I should say, ready to start beating on stuff. This is one of the most uh, devastating military units the Poseidon army has because he can come in, he can whack away a unit, does a ton of damage, and then he can pretend to be a Colossus and take down a building as well. And in this moment, Rapple does decide to tap out. His attack has fizzled out and Matrius manages to hold on, winning this series 2-0. to zero. I think that Rappel, the idea here from Rappel was really good. He got a lot of value out of this push, but when he went into this location, he didn't get anything here. There was no reason to push here. There's no way he pushes through Matrius's army. Instead, better would have been to get a town center or two even, and then go into the boom war and, um, and try and... You're going to be in front on that one, so then try and utilize the ring giver Yarls if you ever got those to win the late game against the Poseidon player or even prevent this town center from going up with your superior army while booming, um, then you might have to face off against an Artemis or something, but at least then you've got a chance. Uh, maybe the other option here is... It I don't. I just think that this attack here was what, what threw it for Rapple, unfortunately. But Matrius does take this game, does win this series. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.